Thank you. Senator um, Capitone. I'm going to address Dr. Ponch if I can direct you, if I can uh, address you that way. Um, you know, I've implored previous directors to, to not mothball that Green Bank uh, telescope, and you and I talked previously right before. The new director, Dr. James Jackson, who started a few years ago, um, I just think we ought to talk about and, and tell everybody about the possibilities and the promise of radar systems in the area of planetary defense. National Academy of Sciences has written of the dangerous effects of near-Earth objects. What role do you believe radio astronomy, and specifically Green Bank, which is the largest fully steerable telescope in the world, located in West Virginia, what role do you see there, and where do you see the future? Oh, um, uh, GPT is a tremendous asset. Uh, you know, just to put this in perspective, the 100 million GBT continues to be the cutting edge uh, resource that we have got for advancing science. As you know, that that was part of the detection of the gravitational waves right. as an anagrav. And so it's now 23 years old, and uh, Senator, I was just talking to you just before this uh, hearing, that um, we are working on making sure that it is maintained well, so we are constantly investing in ensuring that it is maintained well. It's also being integrated into the next generation of radio astronomy. You talked about radio astronomy observatory, including the planetary defense objectives and so on. So it's the integral part of the planning of what we do with the next generation, very large array, the NGVLA uh, programs also. And uh, in the current VLA, VLBA, um, you know, we have got a good portfolio of uh, ground-based astronomy facilities for, for the work that we are doing. So the GPT clearly will have a, a very critical part and it will be a critical component of the NGVLA. Uh, there's no question about that, which is currently in the design phase. We right. just put that in the design phase. So one way or the other, GPT will have a significant role because it is, as you said, the single large dish radio telescope available for the US astronomy community. Great. So we are uh, working to make sure that we're working very closely as we are thinking about the future, mm -hmm. maintaining the current status of GBT and what it can do, but also what its role is in the NG VLA thinking. I look forward to working with you at, on that, and, I, and we're going to set up that visit yes. uh, to the beautiful part would, of our state. I would love to come with you. Thank you. Well, it's good to see you, uh, Senator Nelson. and. I'll never forget when we sat together our, with our spouses and you told me about your whole, your whole uh, ride with NASA. And so to see you here today, as we've seen many times, is really, really fulfilling. We have the IBM V Center in, uh, in West Virginia, which is critical to every NASA miss mission. Uh, but we also have the EPSCOR program that is uh, important uh, to institutions like our uh, West Virginia University and others, Marshall, I too believe. Um, where do you see EPSCOR uh, in terms of um, uh, growing and being able to get more and younger people interested in science, particularly young women and more diverse populations? We take it very seriously. Uh, we are making a direct effort beyond EPSCOR uh, in order to get our space grants out to parts of the country that you may not think mm -hmm. would be the recipients of space research grants. For example, the rural parts of the country. Good. And uh, this is all a part of our trying to be very inclusive mm -hmm. uh, with how we spend our research and development money. Well, those are essential dollars to, particularly in rural America, as you said. Let's go to the IBNV Center um, that does all the verifications. Uh, and I, I, I don't know that I've been briefed on this, or maybe you can, you can help me with this. What kind of coordination do you have with the private sector at IBNV? Uh, obviously, you, it's not, an, uh, it's not uh, the research is not, or the verifications are not all research by, or all, all performed by NASA, or some of them are contractors. Can you talk about the public-private partnership there? Yes, there are uh, 60, uh, direct civil servants mm -hmm. matched with 364 uh, contractors. Right. And uh, that's what we're doing. The economic effect is, uh, extends beyond that uh, into 700 jobs. Right. And I will say, too, they do uh, internships and cooperative ar arrangements with the uh, Fairmont, but also West Virginia University, and, and whoever's in their surrounding area, again, to spur the next generation workforce uh, onto this. So when is Artemis going to go up? September of next year, 25. That's Can I come I'm... and bring all my four granddaughters with me? Uh, I wish you would. Good. 
<laughs> That's a commitment I'm going to make sure is we'll, kept. We'll, we'll see if we can make it not like Artemis I that was at 1.45 in the morning. Okay. Well, they may just have to stay up. Thank you very much.